Hey guys! Alright folks, we're here today to do a Patreon request from this Patrono right here. As says check out Striker with full speed or no speed. Well, well this... I mean, I, I, I'm done with that. Ain't nobody going 60. No, this this is kind of the... There's no such thing as kind of pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Either you go full speed or you don't go at all. Like, I mean, there's no such thing as just putting the tip. That's like driving in Brampton. Funny enough, I got hit by a car in Brampton and it wasn't an Indian person driving. Yeah. Well, it was it's a white chick. So I was dude. like, when I got out of the car, I was like, I was ready like to go at it. And I was like, hey, wait a minute. Like, you're not what I was expecting. <laughs> it was <laughs> a Spider-Man meme. Like, yeah, and, and, and then she's looking at me like, why did you stop so abruptly? You know what I mean? Like, so it was kind of a weird moment. Anyhow. Oh, uh, fuck. Yeah, for, for you mentioned all the people that are watching this to, who yeah. don't know what Brampton okay. is. Or just what... to give like a little bit of a, just a little bit of a heads up. Brampton is a part of Ontario that has... Part been, of the city of Toronto. It's part of the city of Toronto. Part of the GTA. Um, it's a city within the bigger city. The bigger city, yes. And it is basically given like the stereotype of the worst drivers. Like the and and, ju- and it has and a it's huge... just it just so happenly like it just so happens to be also the highest concentrated of um, South Asians South Asians that live in this area. I have to say South Asians because it's not just people from India. It's people no, no, from no, Sri Lanka in, South, in, in general. Know, Taipan, so that's whatever. why there's a stereotype in the city of Toronto that um, people from Brampton can't drive. Your but grandfather it's... lives there. <laughs> But I don't say I'm not, say I'm not saying he can't drive. I'm saying he falls into the South Asian. <laughs> he falls into the category. But that's why even that school, like my school, is near my, my college is near Brampton, like close enough. So I see a lot of car accidents very like very frequently, and it's always funny because it's exactly this: they're either under the limit or over the limit by a long shot. And it's always that. It's never... Never kind of pregnant. Never. It's never a 60 zone and they're going 70 or they're going 50. No, no, no. It's a 60 zone. They're going 40, 20, 30. They're, they're going 20. They're, they're rolling past. They're or like, they're doing 120. Or they're doing 120. <laughs> it's either 20 or 120. <laughs> yeah. uh, no in between. So anyways, God, a striker with full speed or no speed. It's, it's a beauty living in the city of Toronto. Uh, yeah, and it's... Uh, I mean, since we're being slightly racist here, might as well just add to the fact that Markham, the city of Markham within the big city of Toronto, used to be the one with the highest insurance rates because it's a huge Asian community yes. there. And now but Brampton... I never, but I never hear anything about people getting into car accidents in Markham. I always hear it about Brampton. Uh, yeah, because Brampton now overtook... So it turns out that South Asians are worse, worse drivers than Asians. Asians. Go figure. Go Damn. Figure. I mean, like, that, that's not a stereotype a Stereotype you want to own, but, but, but stere- they, but they own it. It's been so long, they got rid of the stereotype, and sadly... Somebody the, took it. Somebody had to take it, right? Fuck, you know, if black folks want to get rid of the stereotype of black dicks, uh, me representing white people, I'm willing to take it. I'm willing to run with that one, you know, not literally run with it, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, striker, full speed or no speed, you ready for this? Yeah. Live one day at a time. 
I swear to God, I was saying uh, full speed or nosebleed, but maybe not. All right. Full speed or, or nosebleed. nosebleed. <laughs> I swear it sounded like nosebleed. All right, so what, do you, what did you think about this? By the way, I believe the these song? guys are from Canada. I think they're from like uh, uh, like uh, Edmonton or something really? like that. Yeah. Really? Yeah, man. I mean, I believe they went on a tour with Seven Kingdoms and maybe Beast in Black. I mean, it makes sense anyways. So, full speed or no speed? That that gives that's like the perfect combination for a good striker. No, you don't want no speed. How the fuck would you want a striker with no speed? I want a striker or no speed. That's fucking like Bahadur Cabral up front there. But, guy's got no speed. No, but no, I'm talking about full speed. If he can go full speed or no speed, but not in between, that's perfect. Because when he doesn't have the ball, no speed is not. It's not needed. But when the ball is in play, I play want him to be speed. at full speed. Yeah, I, I want him to conserve that. the energy. I don't know about that. Anyhow, uh, what do you think about this song? Hey man, there's perfect. Uh, there's strikers out there that had amazing, amazing speed, but don't forget about the ones that couldn't run for shit. Like, uh, can you name one? Yeah, uh, Giroud and Mitroglou. Yeah, Giroud more so. Peter Crouch too. Peter Crouch. He's not known for, for the shit. running, that's for sure. Exactly. See, like that guy's like two chopsticks for legs. Fuck. See, uh, so, there's there's strikers out there that couldn't run, but uh, their shots. It did, you know, pick up... Peter Crouch was the Dikemi Mutombo of the EPL, seriously. The guy was all height, all legs. I know, but it, when you see him do, like, a, a bicycle kick, it's like... That is true. It's art. Yeah, it's, it's like a... Um, what do you call those things? Um, uh, the the pelican. It's like a pelican doing a bicycle kick. Imagine that. It's the same kind of thing. Pel pelicans are all legs, too. Uh, did you know why pelicans are pink? Are Pelicans are not pink, and that's a flamingo. Oh, friend. flamingo! That's what I was. Pelicans going. are the ones with the big ass. Oh flamingo. yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was going with the uh, with the um, flamingos. Uh, they're all <laughs> legs doing a backflip. Do you know why they're pink? Why? Because oh, it's the water that they drink it has a lot of salt in you, it. You told me about something like where that. they where they uh, where they breed, and then once they 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 do the deed and they breed, they lose the color. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw a documentary. What color, color did they become? Uh, white. Oh. Yeah, white. The color of the feathers is its the way they filter the salt that they drink from the water. Oh, okay. It gets filtered that way. See, I learned something. And, and it must be true because uh, Morgan, Morgan Friedman told me. Okay. So, anyhow, Striker, Eyes in the Night with a song Full Speed or No Speed. What are you, what, what's if there your was take? a movie on my life, sorry to also... Jesus Christ, man, let's were, get back on this. I was going to say, if there's a movie, like if there was ever to be a, a movie on my life that I was directing, I'd want the person doing like the... Um, like the narration of what's happening between scenes has to be Morgan Freeman, or else my life didn't mean anything. Either that or the guy from EA Sports. It's in the game. Ah, oh, no. That guy has a nice voice, too. Because then, like, there's the scene of, like, like... They should get that guy to do the pornos. The narration in the pornos. There's no narration in pornos. Thank That's God. <laughs> Thank God. Maybe I'm watching the wrong pornos. <laughs> but anyhow... He's in the game. <laughs> it's in the game. Yeah. Uh Vivid, it's in the game. I can't say EA Sports. There's no. Are you, are, are you the game? Because they call me EA Brazers. Sports. It's in the game. No. So, a, a, anyways, imagine uh, that being your pickup line. Are you, are you the game? Because they call me EA Sports. <laughs> I'm in the game. Uh, you want to be in the game, but right now you're just, you just. Are you the game? And then Triple H. <laughs> yes. All right. Can we get back into this? That's such brain rot. Yeah. God damn it. Such brain rot. Uh, um, anyways, uh, dude, these guys are fucking great. <laughs> I'm like, when, when they, when it started, it gave me like heavy Judas Priest slash like uh, a little bit of like King Diamond, uh, vocal wise. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I like that, I like that mix right there. Um, it's just really good, man. It's, it's, it, it's like Midnight Without the Darkness. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just speed. It's speed. There, there's no speed in darkness. Just it's speed. just fucking speed. It's just there's, speed. No, there's no darkness. There's no darkness. I love it. But I love this shit. Yeah, man. Like just... speed metal. Like, uh, you know, like it's like power metal, speed metal with classic heavy metal elements. I, I love this shit. And I loved it even more because the vocalist is outstanding. Yeah, he's really you, good. When you, when you play this fast. When you you got to have a top you, you, tier you, you, you need to have a vocalist like this. You cannot have a guy... That that like mumbles or or that has a lower tone or whatever like you can't. No. You have to have a guy that delivers this kind of vocal performance. The, the vo that vocal performance sets up the sound. Yeah. You know what I mean. So it's like you, you 
if you're gonna play like that, you first have to find the vocalist. You cannot, you cannot. This is a band that you have to build around the vocalist. vocalist yeah. You have to because it doesn't. I don't care how good of a guitar player you are. I don't care how good your you drummer you are. If the vocalist doesn't sound like that, you have absolutely nothing. You have yeah. nothing. So kudos to them. And and I gotta say, for a song that when you listen to this song, the first things that come to your mind is how good the vocalist is and the guitar playing. Those are the two like calling cards, right? But if you really listen to this song, the drums and bass are phenomenal, and they really came in the mix. Like you could, I could hear but the they're, bass they're, in the they're background. They're up with everything, so it's it's nice to hear the fact that like I, I don't feel any gaps in areas. I feel like everything. No, but it's is also being... it's not also not piercing through to the point where where it's you, overshadowing. You hear, yeah, where you hear the 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 bass thumping like no 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 no. No, you hear it, but it's it's you like hear, in the it's, distance. It's like a very smooth line underneath the guitars. It's matching it, but it's in the distance. It's mm -hmm. like it's like faded into the distance. Enough that you can hear it, but not enough that gets in the way. But of... it's noticeable underneath. Like yeah, it's yeah. not. It's not like miles behind. And I really liked it. I really liked the bass tone on this song. I really liked it. I know it's not a song that you gravitate towards bass and drums. It's really vocals and guitars. But fuck, I really like the drums and I really like the bass because that those two elements together is what gives the foundation that allows the guitars to be as fast as they are yeah because if you have guitars that are this fast but then you don't have like some solid backing sound wise then the song feels like super thin and this song while being fast it wasn't thin it still had it still had a little bit of umph in it, it, it it's there's a really nice balanced uh sound as far as the song is a pretty and then the vocal performance like crazy really good really good this was really good really good track and fun track it's very fun you know this fun track so i enjoyed it that was good. A lot, of, a lot of bullshit, a lot of uh, banter, but uh, this was a good song and fun video to make. Oh, I, I thought you were gonna say fun video. There was no video. It's just a fucking no. blue lion. Like it's like, <laughs> it's, it's it's like, you know. Dude, listen, listen. We're, it's like we're, the lion has blue balls. We're and, the only and the blue balls expanded we're the only to his YouTubers face. YouTubers out here that could turn a three-minute song into a, a, 15... 20, a 27 minute video. We've done that before. We've done that before where we just bullshit for no... No, it's... Listen. It's the banter. No, because you're listening to a song. And it reminds okay. me of other shit. I don't know about you guys, but when I go to a show and I'm hanging out with my friends at a show and we see something, either the keyboard player going crazy on the guitar and whatever, or we see like some guy with no underwear and all you see is butt crack and he's not even a plumber, or what happened... Like, whatever. The band is still playing. We're still enjoying the music. But guess what? We're laughing. In between <laughs> sets, in between bands, when they're yeah. doing the changeover, we're fucking like going to town on whatever it is. Whatever was happening. It, it, yeah. So like, it's no different than when you listen to a song, you listen to a video, and then that video triggers a conversation a that goes somewhere else. Something, and, yeah. Yeah, it's just the way life is. It's just the way life is. If you don't want that, if you want something super programmed, then you get to the wrong watch place. Watch the video on your own. Exactly, and record yourself, and, record and, yourself. and upload it as AP Reacts. Like, there's a guy from India doing that. Really? Yeah, he copied our name, but his videos, he, he, he just, he, he does reactions about other, like, uh, not music, like, just, like, other things. random shit. Yeah. I don't know. Man, like, fuck. Used to be China doing all the forgeries <laughs> and, the, and the knockoffs and shit. Now, like, India's taking over, too. He's like a skinny version of you. Oh, shit. Yeah. He's just missing, like, you. Yeah, he's missing the me. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. He needs, like... like uh, A bald dude with a beard. A little bit big. A little bit big, yeah. Yeah. All right. Anyways. Um, well, if he's a skinnier version of me, then he should be a skinnier version of you, Yeah, too. that's true, too. That's true, too. But anyhow, uh, enough of that bullshit. Thank you to the Patrono that requested this uh, song. Uh, I really enjoyed it. You hit the nail on the head just like the Romans did to Jesus. So thank you very much for that. We'll see you all at the next one. See ya.